Christie's 2024 proposed annual budget was presented by City Manager Peter Zanoni this week. That includes positions for additional police officers, funding for equipment, and support for a new police academy. CCPD also has the city's commitment for new substations across the community. And our Brandon Schaff joins us now in studio to tell us what we know about those substations so far. Brandon. Yeah, good evening, Leslie and Corpus Christi's proposed annual budget includes nine additional officers, bringing the total to 500. Well, the Corpus Christi Police Officers Association says that city officials are making public safety a top priority. And another way that that's being done is with new police substations and CCPOA President Scott Layton tells me that the city has committed to a south side substation. Now it will be a new building, which is different than the current substation that you're seeing here in Flower Bluff. The one in Flower Bluff was a building that CCPD was previously in and shared before it was remodeled into what it is now. And Leighton says that it can help recruit new officers to work for CCPD. The south side substation will be the first new station we've ever had. And then there is a commitment to do a Cal Allen type station or candidates will come in and see, oh my gosh, we've got this new, we've got this brand new academy. And, and that does have a, an effect. A Cal Allen substation has also been committed to, but Leighton says that it isn't as far along in the process as the south side one is right now. Well, the land and engineering has been set aside for the one in Cal Allen, just not the building quite yet. And Leighton also says that he's happy to see the city taking these steps to support CCPD as they keep Corpus Christi safe. And there is currently no timeline for when these substations will be opened, but we will continue to provide those updates right here on 3 News. Leslie, Rudy, back to you. Okay, Brandon, on to politics.